happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited because i was actually chosen as the winner of a giveaway and i'm super excited about it because it's actually a nail kit that i was wanting to review and um, get myself so I was super excited that I was chosen as the winner of the giveaway and the person who hosted this giveaway is it's a wrap and yeah I'm really grateful um, that I was chosen so thank you it's a wrap for um, this amazing product and uh, yeah let me hop right on into the video and show you all what I won this is the package that it came in and I'm gonna just get everything so this is the Gelin nail extension kit, you guys. I am so excited to review this item. Um, and actually, before I hop into this, It's a Wrap was so generous enough to include a gift for me as well. So let me show you all what this is. She's so sweet and everything was packaged really nice and beautiful. So um, she sent me some beautiful lashes, y'all. Oh my goodness. I've really gotten into wearing false lashes lately, so I'm really excited to give these a try. These are like right up my alley. Like they're not too dramatic um, and they're not too long. So these are gonna be absolutely perfect. And then also she sent me some loose glitter. So these are gonna be fun to play around with when I'm doing my nails and or makeup. Um, and she also gives some instructions on how to use it. And then she included a business card too. Okay, here she is. Yeah, these are looks that she's done and I think done on other people. And then this is her information as well. So if you all wanna check her out, definitely do so. Um, I also have a nail collab with her um, that I did for Halloween. Um, so after I won this giveaway, uh, we stayed in contact with each other and actually did a collaboration, which was really cool. Um, she's an amazing person, so definitely go and check out her website. Um, let me hop right on into this amazing box that I received, y'all, I'm so excited. So this is the nail extension kit from Gelin, and it says professional nails all in one quick building. Um, on the back here, uh, it shows what's all included. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what everything is looking like. I did review on my channel, I did review another kit on my channel similar to this. It's the Beatles Nail Tips and Glue Set. I'm gonna leave that link in the card so y'all see it as well. But yeah, this is what this kit looks like here. Alrighty, so these are all the goodies that is included. So this is just an instruction manual telling you how to use the item. This kit wow it comes with a lot of things so let me go ahead and show you all everything that it comes with so the first thing here is um a nail buffer and this is 180 to 100 it says it's washable and um, disinfectable and it also comes with a 100 180 nail file and then these are the nail tips that it comes with right off the bat i love that it is in a box okay um because the I think the Beatles kit came with all of them in a bag, so it's nice that these are nice and organized inside of a container. And then, um, yeah, so she was generous enough, so she actually got two of the kits. She got one that was in coffin shape, and then one that was in um, shorts. One that was in coffin shape, and one in the square shape. And so these are the square nail tips. Okay. I love that they kind of come on this little display thingy so that when I'm picking out my nail size is not um, too hard to do. She also included um, the long coffin shape. So that's an idea of what these look like. So yeah, I'm super excited to give this kit a try. Um, and so I'll probably do a set of the short square nails on myself here soon. So these are the nail tips that come in the kit. I'm really impressed that this kit actually comes with a nail primer and a dehydrator. That's always good to have to ensure the longevity of your nails. Next here in the kit we have um, a, no, a no wipe soak off top gel top coat and it does come in 15 ml so this is a nice full size bottle. And then it also comes with the gel and extend gel. So this is the gel you'll use to apply the false nail and then the top coat to put on top. So it's nice that they include this in the kit. Um, you also get a nail clip if you want to use it and you just put it on the nail here and it helps hold it down when you're curing. Uh, you'll also get, so this is the glitter that they were talking about as well as the, I guess the Aurora effect um, item. So I do want to try to do overall nails, um, but 
I don't know that I want to use this tinsel stuff because this looks like something from like a Christmas tree, you know, but this is the tinsel that they use for the Aurora nails. And then also um, a small thing of glitter here. Wow, this glitter is really pretty. Let me see if I can open it up here without making a mess. Mm, so this is what the glitter looks like. This is really pretty. Oh, I might be tempted to do a set with this glitter. Okay. Huh. Yeah, maybe I'll try to do a set with this glitter. I'm really wanting to do some French tips with glitter tip nail, some French tip glitter nails. So I might actually do that with this set here. Um, so that is what this looks like. Okay. Okay. So the last thing that this comes with is a nail lamp. Um, this looks exactly like the Beatles nail lamp. Um, it's really pretty. The only difference is the inside of this is pink. It does come with the four LED lights here at the top and it's the USB-C charger. So yeah, this looks literally exactly like the ones from Beatles and I absolutely love it, you all. Like these nail lamps makes your life so much easier. You just put the tip on and slide your hand underneath here. Like this stuff is genius. I wanted to unbox everything with you all here on camera. And so what I'm gonna do is once I remove this set, which I do have a review of on my channel. So if you all wanna see how I got this look, uh, definitely uh, check the description box but um, once I take this beautiful set off I will go ahead and um, show you all how I test this kit out so um, stay tuned for that okay so my nails are off and this is the design that I'm gonna show you all how to do with this gelin nail extension kit I am loving how this turned out so far what do you guys think it's the Lux look for me, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna recreate that look on these nails here. I always try to do one hand off camera just to save a little bit of time because my videos can get a little bit long. But yeah, I'm gonna hop right on into this tutorial. So um, I do have a video on how I prep my nails. Um, that video is gonna be released here soon. But I did a really in-depth um, tutorial talking about how I push back the cuticles, file shape, and buff my nails. And so that's already happened to this hand already. I'm gonna go in with my normal process of just dehydrating my nails. Um, I don't know that this process is necessarily um, necessary because this kit actually did come with a nail prep dehydrator and a nail primer. So this is actually gonna be my first time using both of those items ever. Um, I normally only ever use a my, my rubbing alcohol as a dehydrator and then I go right in with my application process and I've not had any issues with longevity but um, since this kit came with it, that's what I'll be using. So um, this is the Gelin Nail Prep Dehydrator and then the Gelin Nail Primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop right on in with those two items first. I'm gonna go in with the dehydrator here. Next, I'm gonna go in with the primer here and just prime all the nail. Oh, well look at that, the tip just fell in there. So how do we get this out? Wow. <laughs> Let me get some tweezers so I can get that out. <laughs> so that's weird that this fell off in there, but I'm gonna just grab my tweezers here and go ahead and get it out that way. Oops. Stick this back in the base here. So hopefully that doesn't fall off again. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead with my primer here. All right, so the primer has been applied. Next you'll wanna go through and um, size out all of your nails. So I did do this part off of camera. Another thing that I really like about these tips is that um, they actually already come pre-etched. So I don't know if you can see here, but there's like that, that little gray area at the bottom here. So these nail tips have already been pre-etched. So it makes your life a lot easier. Um, the one thing I did notice though is that the etching doesn't cover the whole surface of where I'm going to apply the nail, but I'm still going to not etch the surface on the inside just to see if it will still hold up. Um, so yeah, like I said, I have already pre-sized all of my nails, so I'm just going to put them right here. I have the lamp that came with the kit. This is the Gelin portable nail lamp, so I'm going to be using this along with the, um, extend gel that came with the kit and the no white top coat um, and already i can say that i'm really liking these products so far so i'm hoping that these last um i'm hoping they last just as good as any other set that i've done you guys this stuff is just like super easy it's like applying press on nails um, so you will take the nail here 
it's already been pre-etched so like I said you don't even have to worry about doing that you apply a little bit of the gel to the inside here like so the more that you apply these tips the the better you'll get at knowing how much gel you'll need um, but I'm gonna see if I can get it to focus here and essentially I kind of slightly tuck the nail underneath my natural nail you push it all the way down and then you literally just put it underneath the light and let it cure I normally let it cure for about 10-15 seconds and after that I let go like so and then let it finish curing all the way and that's really it um, I want to go through and do the rest of these really quick Alright, and so that's that. So these are how the nails are looking. I am going to go ahead and fully cure them underneath my big LED lamp for about a minute and a half. I think that one minute is just fine, but I like to make sure when I'm doing tips like this that they are fully on the nail. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. I tried to go underneath the nail with some alcohol to take off the spillage underneath and it just kind of stained the nail, but I don't think that's going to matter for the longevity or anything like that. Um, I did go ahead and apply my thumbnails off camera because these give me a lot of issues, but surprisingly this was fairly easy to do. The key is to just make sure you have enough gel in there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you all how I just kind of like file to clean up the nail. To be honest with you though, you see there's not really that much spillage. There's like a little tiny bit here, itty bitty tiny bit here. There's not a lot of spillage to clean up, so I'm going to just show you all how I prep the nail for... Um, application so I am going to take this needle tooth bit here and just go around the edges of the nails just to kind of smooth everything out and to get rid of um, that little excess glue that's right there you see how it just comes right on off so I'm gonna do that and my goal with this isn't to remove the entire part of it it's really just to smooth it out to where it's kind of flush with the nail Perfect. And I like to separate it from the side of the wall, that way I can lift up anything that might lift later. The kit did come with its own like files and buffers, but I honestly have some that I already use, and it's the same grit. So I don't want to mess these up. I'm going to save these for later and just use what I have been using, which is this and this. It's the exact same thing, just different brand. And I want to go ahead and just file away that little tip here, like so. And then I'm literally just going to buff the surface of the nail just to remove the shine. All the nails are buffed and ready to go. Next thing I'm going to do is just kind of look at the shape of the nail. So one thing I did notice is that in particular with this middle finger the nail is a little bit wider than I want it to be so I'm gonna go ahead and shape that into the shape that I want and kind of bring it in like the other nails so as you can see that middle finger now is looking more in line with the rest of them so the nails have been filed buffed and ready to go so next I'm going to go in my gel polish color of choice this color is from the Beatles collection it is the a80 a87 so I will leave that link down below in case you all want to try this color out too it is absolutely gorgeous perfect fall brown and I'm going to go ahead and apply the color to the entire nail and I'm going to go ahead and do two coats of that here. And with this, you want to make sure you don't get too close to the cuticle. And so because these tips are longer than what I'm used to working with, I do go ahead and use this mini lamp to flash cure in between each nail just so that I don't like smudge it or anything. So this little lamp, I just kind of flash cure it for 10 seconds in between each finger. Okay, so that's the first coat that's been applied. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the second coat. Okay, so the second coat of uh, gel polish has been applied. I did go ahead and do my two thumbnails off camera. So originally with this design, right, like this is actually the beautiful glitter that came with the kit. I absolutely love it. I really like it. I was gonna actually 
try to do my design with it. Um, this was the practice nail that I did and I thought it was really cute, right? But when I was looking at my collection of all my nail art and I saw these gold um, chains, I just could not help myself. So these are some gold cha chains that I got from Shein. Um, and that's what I have on my nails here. And that's what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this, go ahead and finish this set with. And so I do have my little chain pieces picked out already. Here are my chain pieces that I have picked out already. Like so. Two, three, four. Okay. All right, so here are my chain pieces that I'll be putting on. Um, I have recently discovered that I really, really like using the Beatles nail glue to adhere any type of rhinestones, embellishments, nail art to the nail. I find that it lasts a really long time. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm gonna use to apply these with. I have a feeling they're gonna last the whole time because last time I used them to apply my rhinestones, they lasted for two plus weeks. So if y'all aren't hip to this, I'm gonna leave this link down below. Like this stuff is like magic. This actually came in the Beatles nail extension kit. It's like the Beatles uh, nail tips and glue set. And I've been using it for my rhinestone embellishments as well. And it's just been working so well. So that's a little hack for you all. And I do have a video coming soon of some rhinestone art that I did using this and it's amazing. So anywho, what I'm gonna do is just apply a little bit right to the middle here and I just do it right in the center, kind of float it back and forth to kind of build it up a little bit. And this stuff is pretty thick. Um, so um, a little does go a long way. I don't know if you can use the gel and extend gel for this as well. I feel like since it's used to apply the nail tips, it should work the same as the Beatles nail glue. But I just want to make sure that my stuff is gonna last because I've tested the Beatles nail glue. So at some point, maybe I'll test the gel in. But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead, use my tweezers, pick up my nail art, set it right on the nail, and then just kind of place it where I want it to be. Let me get a little bit closer so you all can see what I'm doing here. And I'm just gonna try to get it as close to the center as possible, like so. So it's sliding down when I hold it to kind of look at it. So I'm gonna just try to do it as quickly as possible. That looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this like it is. So I only cure it for about 10 to 15 seconds and then I'm gonna go in with the next one. It's really just to freeze it in place. And I'm gonna go in and apply my next rhinestone, I mean my next chain. And I'll show you all what I do to make sure it's extra secure. Cause what I've done just now, that's not gonna make it extra secure. But what I do after this will. So let me pick up this piece here and apply it to the nail like so. And I'm gonna adjust it and get it nice and centered. And then once it's nice and centered, I'll go ahead and cure. Again, I'm just flash curing it just to kind of hold it in place. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the next chain. Okay, so this is what it is looking like after it's cured for two minutes. Now the last thing is left. Now the last thing left to do is to go in with top coat. So I am going to use the gel and top coat that came in the kit, and I'm going to apply that generously to all of the nails, making sure to really fully surround the embellishment so that um, it stays. I will say too, I feel like this top coat is pretty nice. It's a really, really thick consistency, which I actually wasn't expecting. Um, so I have a feeling, yeah, this set's gonna last a really nice amount of time. And I like to kind of go around the cuticle area very carefully, just to make sure I don't flood the cuticle with the top coat. And then the other thing I like to do to kind of further secure it is to just lightly go over it with the top coat. You don't want to put too much in there that because that could cause some cloudiness, but you kind of want to just put enough on there to where it did cover it so that one, it doesn't cause any like discoloration as you're wearing the set. And then two, um, it further secures um, the chain in place. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I got everything nice and smooth on the sides and on the top here. 
And once everything looks good, which that does look good, I'm gonna flip it for 10 seconds. Normally I do this at the end after all the fingers have had top coat applied, but because I'm waiting, but because I need to make sure everything is level with this chain on here, I'm gonna just do that all at the end. So I'm gonna flash through this for 10 seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest the same exact way. All right, you guys, the nails are all done. What do you think? I am absolutely in love with this. How luxurious does this set look? Like, yes, I'm absolutely here for it. And I can't believe I did this myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and all my cuticles, you guys, to really go ahead and set this whole look off, okay? Because you know you gotta keep them nice and hydrated. All right. All right, you guys. So this is the finished product. I am absolutely loving how these nails turned out. I do really like this Jella nail extension kit. So again, this is the kit that I won in the giveaway. Um, thank you again to It's A Wrap for picking me as the winner of this giveaway. I'm absolutely loving, loving, loving this set um i feel like too the tips that came in this particular kit are just perfect for me they're not too long they're not too short they're just right so i feel like i can still get that nice luxe fancy look um while still having some functional nails so yeah you guys i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial um i actually do have a giveaway happening on my channel right now so if you all are interested in entering that giveaway definitely check the description box below i'll leave details about that but yeah y'all what y'all think about this set comment down below like let me know okay um i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday um thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursdays videos so if you like what you saw here definitely stick around and join the happy family i would love to have you and as always leave me some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye So I am back with a quick update. Just wanted to let you all see how these nails are holding up after seven days of wear. Um, so far, so good. You can see there's just a little bit of new growth here. Um, everything is still intact. Everything is good on this side as well. The only thing is I have one nail that's slightly lifting. I'm not really sure why, but this nail is like lifting hardcore. So it's getting ready to pop off, which I'm super sad about. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to take them all off and do a new set or not, but honestly, for one week of wear, it's not bad. Um, I just have that one nail, like I said, that's lifting. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep these on or not. I mean, I could just redo this particular nail um, and keep the rest of the set on. Overall, I really love the gelling kit. It definitely gives the beetle kit a run for its money. Um, I think the nail tips are beautiful. I really like them a lot. Um, especially the square shape. Um, I actually, when I did my beetle set, I cut my nails down to this exact shape. So I like that in the gelling kit, you can get these, um, get the tips this exact size. I'm tempted to keep them on just to see how long they will last. Um, if I decide not to take them off, I'll probably just super glue this nail back on and or just use an adhesive tab and see how the rest of them hold up. Cause I don't have lifting on any of the other nails and I've been doing everything 
you know, long baths, washing dishes, you know, cleaning, etc. And, you know, I just have this one nail that's lifting. So we'll see what I do, but just wanted to give you all an update. Definitely think that at the price point, this kit is well worth it. And I will leave um, all the products that I use down in the description box. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.